Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. I want to share a message that I've been thinking about this morning, and it's about the courage that it takes for us to be able to acknowledge and hold darkness, pain, evil, shadow, trauma. The courage it takes for us to be able to acknowledge it, to be able to see it for what it is, and to be able to feel it through our systems, through our bodies. So I want you to imagine first, because there is a collective shadow, evil, darkness that we're experiencing, and there's an individual shadow, darkness, that you're experiencing. So I want you to imagine in your own life, any trauma or experience that you had in your family, school, the medical system with specific doctors maybe, religious systems with certain leaders or anything else where there was an individual that you admired or that you respected and that you thought loved you or had your best interest at hand. And what unraveled was some sort of abuse of some sort, whether it was an emotional abuse, um, physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect. The majority of humans, unfortunately, have experienced something similar to that. And it varies in intensity. But it's part of this world that we live in. It's just part of it. And what happens is that we store that and experience as trauma in our body and it becomes a shadow. We don't see it. We ignore it. We don't want to feel it. We don't want to acknowledge it. We can't fathom that there are humans that would do this to us. It doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with me. And so we grow up with maybe one of these experiences or 20 of these experiences or 50 and they store in our body as trauma. And then what happens is we begin to courageously start looking at what is within our bodies, the shadow, the dark, the evil. And we courageously start feeling it and acknowledging it. And then it dissolves, that's simple. It dissolves simply by feeling it and by acknowledging it and by holding it and by loving it. So what we're watching as a human collective in the external, in the human collective outside there right now is the same thing. It's just in a, on a larger scale. Meaning that there are systems that we call government or medical or scientific or educational that have perhaps created traumas for the human collective that we can't look at. We can't fathom that there are individuals that would do anything to harm us. And yet in our own individual lives, we've experienced individuals that have harmed us in some way, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually. But somehow when we look out into the external world, the media, the government, these tech companies, pharmaceutical companies, religious systems, etc., etc. Somehow we negate everything we've experienced in our own personal lives and assume that the external experiences that we have will not be similar to our own individual unique human journeys. And yet it is a reflection of our own personal journey. And as we are all courageously evolving in consciousness individually, i.e. looking at our trauma, looking at our pain, looking at our shadow, guess what? The external is asking for the exact same thing. 
There's no judgment around this. There isn't a should or shouldn't, right? There is a shadow hidden in the external that has created traumas for the human collective. And we are being asked to courageously begin to see the shadow. Is it possible that there are humans in these systems that don't have our best interests at hand? That somehow are harming us or did harm us? Think about your own personal life. How many people in your own personal life throughout your life have maybe unconsciously harmed you? Unconsciously. Or consciously. Think about it. And think about whether these people were loved ones. Now you're really going to have cognitive dissonance. How in the heck can somebody that loves me harm me? And yet we are finding it impossible to understand that strangers in systems in our external world may not have our best interest at hand. This is how consciousness shifts. This is how we evolve as a human consciousness. We have to begin to courageously understand that we have to begin to see what we are actually experiencing. We have to start to pull back the layers, just like we do with our own physical human journey. And we have to start to ask hard questions. So for yourself individually, you might say, why do I feel so insecure in my body? Why do I not like to be intimate with men or women? Why are these things happening, right? Then you get to the trauma. Oh, that's why. If we look out into the external and we start asking why, are these things happening? Why are things not making sense? Why? We're going to get to the trauma. We're going to get to the core. And it's a cognitive dissonance, right? Because you're saying to yourself, wait a second, how would these people or why would these people do this? Again, go back to your own life. Why would there be a teacher that would ridicule you or make fun of you? It doesn't make any sense. Right? Why would your mother or your father or your uncle or your grandfather sexually abuse you? That doesn't make sense. And yet somehow we don't think that's happening in the external world, that these systems don't perpetuate those same individual traumas that we experience in our own lives. And there's nothing wrong with this, meaning it's not bad to begin to look out and recognize that the entire human collective is begging to evolve. It's begging to be seen. Because as soon as we can courageously look at the trauma that is held in the collective, the faster we'll be, we will be able to shift out of that trauma. Just like your own body, just like your own trauma. So what do we do? We courageously begin to feel what is occurring out there. We begin to ask really tough questions. We begin to critically think even more. We dive deep. We look at what may be underneath the surface level of information that we're given, right? And we start to look at our own human journey as a reflection of the collective human's journey. It's no different. And that we are here as consciousness to evolve, to evolve out of lower states or lower ways of being, greed, manipulation, fear, abuse, control. We're here to step out of it in our own individual lives and we're here to step out of it in the collective. And the only way is to see what we're in. 
The only way is to see my own trauma. And yet we are programmed and conditioned to pretend all is well, all is well, don't worry, all is good, all is good. Because it doesn't feel good to look at trauma, to look at darkness, to look at evil. It doesn't feel good. But it's the only way through and into these higher states of consciousness. We have to look at it. We have to feel it. We have to acknowledge it. And then we lovingly and compassionately allow ourselves to feel it through. And we do this for ourselves individually and we do this for the entire collective. Wow, maybe there are humans that are using greed to control humanity. It's possible. Wow, maybe there is control and manipulation happening on a massive scale in order for certain systems to remain in control. It's possible. If I think of my own individual life as I've grown up, have I seen that? Yeah, of course I have. But again, somehow when we start looking out into the collective, we play different rules than we do with our own individual healing. Somehow when we start healing ourselves and we heal ourselves, it's a completely different game when you look out into the external collective. They don't need healing. The external human collective doesn't need healing. It doesn't need to be looked at. And it does. That's why we're here. That's why you're here. You're awakening. You're opening your eyes. You're beginning to feel your own personal trauma so that you can shift your own consciousness so that you can look out into the external and begin to see the human collective's trauma so that you can shift the human collective's trauma as well. This is why we're here. Whether you've been awake to this for a while, whether you're just waking up to this, or whether you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, we are all evolving. Individual consciousness and the human collective's consciousness and the only way through into higher states, love, joy, peace, abundance, is to see the trauma and to feel all of it. I love you. Thank you for being here.